Hello everyone, this is Paul again with another exclusive demo for all of our SQL Skills Insiders. In this demo, what I want to do is show you actually using some of the weight stats and latch stats and virtual file stats that I've been blogging about over the last couple of weeks. The scenario that I'm going to create is one with a very slow um, I.O. subsystem underneath a transaction log. We're going to investigate it and then we're going to change the dynamics of that I.O. subsystem and see the difference in what we see in terms of weight stats and so on. So what I've got is a, a database and I'm going to create the log file on G colon and G colon is actually a, a USB stick. So it's going to be pretty slow. Go ahead and create that. Then I'm going to set up a table to play with and the table has a random GUID which I'm going to use as my clustered index key. It's also got a non-clustered index on a date time. So I go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to fire up a bunch of clients. So I'm going to kick off 250 concurrent clients. And this is one of the joys of having an 8-core laptop, is that I can fire off 250 concurrent clients, and the laptop carries on purring along as if nothing really is happening. All right, so we've got all this um, work going on, and each of these clients, each of these 250 concurrent clients, is basically just inserting records into this table. So let's first off have a look at weight stats. So I'm going to go, and go ahead and clear my weight stats, and then run this code that I put out in the blog before, which will basically show us the top 95% of weights that are occurring, and group them together so we can see which which weights are actually the, the top ones. So I'll go ahead and run this, and we can see basically we're looking at right log being the, the top weight, and the right log weight it covers everything from the, the start of the log flush all the way through copying the buffers into the log flush manager, getting access to the, the spin lock to be able to do that, actually doing the asynchronous I.O., waiting for the asynchronous I.O. to complete, and back again. And we're also seeing latch EX weights, so the latch EX weights, we can dive in and have a look at with uh, waiting tasks and latch stats. So first of all, let's have a look at waiting tasks. So if I run this code, what this is doing is basically looking at um, sys.dms waiting tasks, joining together with a bunch of other DMVs and showing us what's going on. So we're seeing an awful lot of write log weights. I want to refresh a few times until I see. So here's some page latch EX weights, all waiting to, to try and insert a record onto the same page. I'm looking, there we go. So what I'm looking for is log manager. So the log manager, that's a latch that controls um, when we want to be able to do log flushes. So if we go ahead and look at the latch stats themselves. So let's flush these out first of all. And if we start looking at, whoops, if we start looking at what's going on with our latch stats, First of all, we've got these ones happening. So uh, there we go. So we were seeing FG FGCB add remove, and that's from um, data and log file growth. But log manager, this is the one that we're seeing most. This is basically controlling flushing um, log blocks to disk. So what we're seeing though, is that every time we're doing that, it's waiting 0.7 seconds to be able to do that, which is ridiculously high. If we go back and look at weight stats, we can see basically that every one of our write log weights, so every time we're flushing something out to disk, we're looking at um, 125 milliseconds on average for the IOs to complete, which is again, horribly, horribly high. So let's have a look at virtual file stats. In virtual file stats, this code that I've got here, is basically going to look at all the files on the system and give us the average read and write latencies. So if we, if we go ahead and do that, we can see that at the top of the list, write latency of average 105 milliseconds is our slow log file database. Now let's just make sure it's the log file over here. Yep, it's the LDF, okay, right at the top there. So I guess what the other thing we could do is we could look at perfmon. And we can see perfmon here. The What we're looking at is, is this. Let's highlight it by doing a backspace. So what we can see is... The, the amount of IOs, well basically the, the disk queue length that's sitting there for the um, the disk that has the, the log file on, which is G colon. And <clears throat> what you can see is there's a very obvious limit 
to how many IOs can be outstanding there. It's not going above essentially 32. And there is a hard limit of the number of outstanding asynchronous IOs per database of 32 for log files. So let's go back and have a look what we can do now. So we've, we've basically seen from everything here that our log file is performing very badly. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the test now. And then we're going to redefine what's going on in our system by taking the, um, the log file off of G colon and putting it onto a, an SSD in my laptop, one of the two SSDs. So let's get rid of this and comment out that. So we're going to recreate that database on C colon. Recreate our table. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and kick off another 250 clients. Before I do that though, I want to bring in another wait stats window. First of all, I want to clear the wait stats. So I've got a, a note of what our wait stats were for when we had our slow log. That's this. Now over here, okay, I've cleared the wait stats. Okay. I'm going to kick off my 250 clients again. There we go. So heading back over to my my code. If I run this now, we see quite a different picture. Now what's happening is that the log file is not the bottleneck. We're seeing that the the top weights are actually page latch weights, and these are not page latch I/O weights either waiting for things to be read from disk. This is contention for in-memory copies of pages. And this is because now we've, um, we've, because we've got rid of the, the write log weights being the bottleneck. Our bottleneck is now that we've got lots and lots of threads all trying to insert into the same point, uh, potentially in a, um, in the table. And we're doing um, a lot of page splits so we're seeing those being the, the top weights. Now, because I've got 250 clients going, although I am using a random GUID, I'm going to be parting on um, a bunch of the same pages, which is why I said inserting into the same place. So if we compare that with the weights that we had before, the write log weights here are for basically um, 1.6 milliseconds, okay, rather than... 125 milliseconds and that's what I'd expect from putting the the log on an SSD with an extremely low um, IO latency so very simple demo there showing you the change that you'll see using some of these performance measuring tools like weight statistics um, for a simple case where we had a, a very nonsensically wet, horribly set up transaction log file versus a transaction log file on a very fast IO subsystem. I hope that's been uh, useful to you. So you're going to get all these scripts. You can play around with this particular demo yourselves. And until next time, thanks for watching.